We are one league down for this weekend. But that will not stop the fun on the weekend of the 28th of October. The last weekend of October for the SPFL. And there's already two games on the night, high scoring in them. But it's all about the weekend. It's all about the Saturday and Sunday action, isn't it? Who wants to do a fucking SPFL preview show on the Thursday? Maybe Champ there's more the important things to talk about on the Thursday. Europa League, Champions League, Europa Conference League. That's what we care about on Thursday. We might talk about how Scottish teams and the Scotland national team are continuously getting fucking screwed. I ain't got time to talk about the SPFL lower leagues on a Thursday night. But it's Friday night, so let the talking commence. Let's go. Let's go. Here is the League One table, of course. Uh, Storm Babbitt has kind of messed up all the fixtures because some teams have played more, some teams have played less. But here is the league table. Falkirk, 26. Hamilton, 24. We've been saying for a while as a two-horse race. But I tell you what, if Montrose win their game in hand, can they uh, get in there? No, they're just not good enough. Of course not. It's Falkirk Hamilton all day, all day, every day. All day, every day. Montrose then, you know, you've got a three-point gap in the Queen of the South, and then you've got Alwa on 11, Cove Rangers on 10, and Athletic on 8. And Embra City, who are building a wee bit of momentum, you could say, I think it's free, is it three draws in a row? The last, the last draw was against Hamilton. I tell you what, that was a coupon sinker because I had Hamilton and it fucking sucked. Yeah, me. I was not expecting that. Hamilton now dropped two points off the pace that has been set by Falkirk. Edinburgh City, though, I mean, they're going to have to pick up a win sooner or later. Yeah, they're going to have to. It's good that they're, they're unbeaten and free, but yeah, points at the end of the day. Can they do it here, though? Simply getting draws ain't going to be enough, but they're at home, they're against Annan Athletic. This very well could be where they pick up their first three points of the season. I'm actually going to go as far as saying they will. I think they've uh, you know, had decent form as of late, unbeaten in three games. I'm going to go 2-1 as Ember City. I'm going to go 2-0 Ember City. Zan Athletic or Mince and Ember City. They need a win, right? I mean, there's 10 games. I think they're going to eventually win. Falker, though, they're going to continue winning against another double A here. And I'm going to go for 4-1 Falker. Nah, uh, Falker, the, the, their momentum's not going to stop 3 now for me. New Central Park awaits. Kelly Hearts against Stern Albion. One each in this one. I think I'll be the only team caught Hearts winning this weekend, so I'm going to go with... Uh, I'll go with Kelly Hearts too. Kelly Hearts. Uh, Queen of the South at Palmerston Park against Cove Rangers. Tell you what, this helps your uh, beat the pundit knowledge, doesn't it? Look, that left-hand side seeing all those stadium names. Or is it not doing anything for you? How many times have you phoned up for Beat the Pundit? Not once. Well, there you go. Oh, well, do we not play it? Everyone plays it? Oh, I'll play it when it's on. Dickhead, I'm going 2 0 Queen of the South. Yep, they won last week. I think they'll win again. And then the BBC Alba game, half five on a Saturday. We've got Montrose against Hamilton. Well, I'll tell you what, if Montrose win this, they're in. They're in with a fighter's chance a second. They're not. Hamilton's too good for them. But what? anyway, here, I, I still think Hamilton will bounce back. I'm going to go 3 2 Hamilton. I'm going to go two each. Weird game to be selected for TV, but it is what it is. Well, I mean, it's second against third, isn't it? At the end of the day, that's what it is. But the cinch championship table looks like that. There is a few games going on as we speak. But look, Queen's Park are play have played 11. Then there's everyone below them has played eight. That's a massive difference already. Um, then you've got Wraith Rovers, who sit second, have only played eight games. So it's not really a true reflection, is it? But Dundee United, they're going to win the league easily, hands down. So, I mean, there, there is your reflection there. Dunk, I think we'll keep Inverness up. And I think this is the year Greenick Morton go downtown. Down to League One. Down to League One. Championship. Right, here we go. Now, two of these games, Dundee United are already 5-0 up. And Queen's Park and Partick Fistle are two each. Thoughts on those two current scores? 15 to go. Not surprising. Dundee United will win most games they play this season. And Partick Fissel are beginning to falter a wee bit. I mean, last week, losing 5 0 to Dundee, that was a shocker. I mean, Partick Fissel at home, I really thought they were going to win and get their title hopes back on track, but it didn't happen. And now they could be dropping points again. Yeah, it's not looking good. Dundee United have won this league. Yeah. Um, Jim Goodwin will be a uh, Premier League manager again next season. Jim Goodwin will be sacked by August. Remember that? Aye, how'd that go for you? Didn't go too Fucking well. Fucking mong. Anyway, uh, let's get into the, <laughs> let's get into the start of the games. Air United versus Greenock Morton. I just don't really see Greenock Morton's fortunes turning around. They have not won a game since the opening match this season, and I expect them to lose again. I'm going to go with Air United two, Greenock Morton one. I'm going to go one 0 Air United. Morton are shite. Shout out to Chris's Morton TV, but you know what? His vlogs next year will be from League One. That is a prediction, not a spoiler. 
enjoy it. Uh, Inverness, Caledonian Fissel, Fels East Airdrionians, uh, Cali have performed better since Duncan Ferguson took over. They're getting results, and Airdrionians have performed pretty well all season. So therefore, it's going to be an interesting tie. I'm going to go Inverness to get a draw here. I'm going to go 1-1. I'm going to go two each. There's always goals in Airdrie's games. Um, Callum Gallagher will get a few wee goals here. Guy's un been unstoppable this season. He has. And then we're going to Starks Park for the last championship game. The Fife Derby. Rafe Rovers playing probably an underperforming Dunfermline. I think that people expected Dunfermline to come straight up, especially considering how good they were last year and possibly be challenging for the top spots in the championship. At the moment, they're not doing that, although it is very early. I mean, they're still in a decent shout of the, the playoff positions, but I just think we expected Dunfermline to be a bit better at this stage of the season than they currently are. Yeah, and they're not, and I'd like to see, I'd, I'd like to see Dunfermline back in the Premiership. So, but that's irrelevant, because I'm going to go with 2-1 Rafe. So there you go, Rafe Rovers to win one. I'm also going 2-1 to win Rafe. Uh, I think Rafe will just get the better of Dunfermline. Rafe will. And then, the league that really matters, guys, it is the Scottish Premiership. I'm sick of looking at fucking Celtic top eight, though. I will admit that. A few games... Or in hand well, here. the only way that's going to change would be if you just don't look at the league table because that position's not changing anytime soon. It's not, isn't it not? Hopefully Big Phil can sort it out. But uh, St. Johnson set on four. Dundee and Ross County played at the worst nil-nil you'll ever see on, uh, what, Tuesday night, I believe. And then St. Mirren. St. Mirren set four clear of Hearts and Kelly and uh, five clear of Motherwell. They've got a game in hand, is of course. But enough looking at the league table. It's depressing, man. Honestly, it... Like, a lot of hype's been given to Hibs and Aberdeen of late, and look at them. He's in 8th and ninth. Like, I know Naismith sitting 4th. I know it's a fake 4th, but he's still above those two. Even though he's shite. I mean, he is, but, I mean, realistically, how, how low could Hearts drop if they do, and they will, I think, lose to Rangers? I mean, the Hearts could realistically go into the bottom three over the next couple of games. No, they easily could. Because there's quite a few teams with a game in hand over them. And then I believe Hearts will lose this week. But I think Hibs will lose also. So we're going to be looking at a situation where there is a real possibility that Hibs will be sitting in 11th place after 10 games. Because Dundee and Ross County both have games in hand. Yeah, there was a time for Nick Montgomery to announce himself properly on the scene. It's this game right fucking here, Nick. So I'm going to go 2-1 Hibs. He's going to do it. Easter like, Road. Nick, Nick Montgomery, he's been... I think he's improved Hibs, but a lot of their games are draws. And draws just don't really move you up the league table. I think Celtic put a lot into that performance against Atletico. Atati's injured. I'm going Hibs to win. Why not? Why not go Hibs to win? You're the one that always backs the team against Celtic. I normally just let them win. <laughs> Fuck them. 2-1 Hibs. Ah, they were pish against Rangers. I just don't see a turnaround. I really don't. Do they not kind of need to have a performance here, though? I mean, possibly, but I'm going to go 2-1 Celtic. I just... Um, I hope I hope one of us is right. I hope it's fucking me. I just don't see it. I mean, hopefully I've proved me wrong, but I just don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, right. Livingston, Dundee. We're all, you know, gagging to talk about this game. I'm going nil nil. I'll go one nil Livingston. You know what? They're pretty good at Tony Macaroni. I'll I'll give David Martindale some credit here. A one nil Livingston win would consolidate their place in the top six too. So. I think there's every chance they'll get that. Fair enough. Uh, Motherwell, they need to start getting their act together after a great start. I'm going to go for them to win, though. 3-0 against Ross County. Boom. Good start, quickly fading. And that's what happens when you have four difficult games in a row. You end up losing them all, and then you find yourself in a real world of trouble. And Motherwell, you know, they were the early pace setters for the, uh, the top few spots alongside St Mirren, but St Mirren have continued to keep up results, and Motherwell have not. So, will be interesting. I'm going to go with Mullerwell to finally get a win on the board. But, yeah, it's, it's been a while since they won, so they're probably forgetting what that big W feels like. I think they'll feel it, though, at Fur Park this weekend. I'm going to go Mullerwell. I'll go Mullerwell 3, Ross County 1. Yep. Um, right, St Mirren to Johnston. For them to get back up, I mean, St Johnston, they're getting pumped here. I'm going 3 0 St Mirren. I think, you look at the four I, home teams, that I could think, be the bet. I think this, you've got some fascination with Hibs winning, I just don't see it. I think right, well, the, the three below them. I think St Mirren, if they don't win this, their, their season could slowly start to fade away. Yeah. I think it's important that they bounce back. They've got the worst team by far in the league at home. 
this should be a way for them to put that Rangers disappointment behind them and win this and get back to winning ways. I think that's what they need to do. They're not even thinking about the top two spots. The Mirren will be thinking, can they get third place? And you do expect, I think you just expect them the longer the season goes to fall away. So they need to be getting points while it matters. They need to be getting points while they can. And I mean, if you kind of get three points at home against St. Johnson, then it's, you're in trouble. So we'll find out what that first defeat against Rangers has done for the conference at St. Mirren. Well, will, will they bounce back for it? Or, you know, will they be struggling to get back to winning ways? We'll find out. And then we move on to Sunday. We've got the first game not to involve one of the old firm on Sky this season. Kelly against Aberdeen. The Derek uh, McKinn's derby. Yep, it is the 29th of October. Is that a bit of a disgrace that this is the first game to be on TV that doesn't feature those two? Not only is that a disgrace, but look at the fixtures for the old firm this weekend. And that's it. And those two games aren't on telly. Yeah. It's fucking damn near criminal. The, is it not? The, the no. Scottish deal with Sky is fucking pants. Let's not kid ourselves. No, like. but both of those games should be on. I'm not saying take the Kilmarnock Aberdeen game away, but Rangers Hearts and Hibs Celtic should. If we had a TV deal, right? A good one. Hibs Celtic would be half 12 on TV. Then on Sunday, you'd have Kelly against Aberdeen at 12 and Rangers against Hearts at 4, all on TV. But what, what we Why can't with? they do them at 3? They could, they could do it at 3, but normally on a Sunday, if you're on TV, it's a 4 o'clock or half 4 sort of gimmick. But you hear 3 or 4, I don't care. But that, that's it. It has been, I think, the, what, the first, game, the first uh, weekend of the season we had. Celtic played against Ross County and Rangers against Kelly. Even the Edinburgh Derby. That was like the first two games back-to-back I've ever seen. Even the Edinburgh Derby wasn't on telly. What we need, we need BT to get right, or TNT to get some rights as well, and then it can... They can share the games. Yeah, well, fuck, share the games. Fucking uh, add more. There's no point sharing the 10 games. That's what I mean. Aye. Yeah, that's what we need, though. I liked it, because, you know, you got the best of both worlds. But let's pretend this fucking Sky TV deal's good, man. Honestly, it's fucking pish. But anyway, Aberdeen are going to lose here. I'm go- yeah, I'm going to go with Kilmarnock to win. I'm going to go two on Kelly. I mean, they started the season well and then they slipped off and didn't pick up any wins for about seven games. But then one win takes them straight back into top six and all of a sudden they're looking good. Yeah. It is, it is so close at the moment, though, in the Scottish Premiership, to be honest. You're talking literally two wins could take you from... I mean, 11th place to third. We didn't really talk about it as much yesterday, but see Aberdeen. See that triple substitution he did? He needs fucking Kelt shot. Game. Yeah. No, but that's exhibit A of this guy is just not a manager. He's not. And it, I think Aberdeen's got a pretty good team. Cause, no, because see managers, right? They can bring on substitutions and it fucking changes the game. With like, you know, in the, man, in the game management. 2-0 up, like, and they lose 3-2. So, yeah, fuck Barry Robson. I'm going 1-0, Kelly. I bet you Aberdeen watched Derek McKins was back. bet you they do. Are you going 1-0, Kelly? No, I'm going 2-1, Kelly. 2-1, Kelly. And in the last game of the weekend, Stevie Naismith here. He uh, had a fun wee day out on Thursday at Portobello. What's he going to do in Glasgow on Sunday? Probably lie down to his fucking A-team, won't he? Is he? Is he going to do that? He's a shite bastard. Like, whether he lies down or he tries his hardest, Rangers are going to win anyway. I don't, even, I don't even get excited for these games anymore. used to love the, the games where Hearts would play Celtic Rangers. used to go up for them thinking, right, come on, big scalp, let's do it. But see, now, you go into these games just, just not... Maybe, maybe not as much Rangers, but still definitely Rangers to an extent. But you go into these games just not having any expectations, not believing you can win. Like, what, Hearts have now lost 10 games straight against Celtic? That's, that's for pish. That is, that that's is. fucking pish. He, that would be shite for a a, a, t- a Livingston or a St. Johnston or a Ross County. That'd be shite for them to lose 10 games, games straight against Celtic. That would be. Shouldn't be acceptable for Hearts. Oh, but the money. Fuck the golf, man. I'd consider losing the four games. You play them in a season. and I'd consider losing them in Barrison. Yeah. But I, here we I are. think you should be at least getting one win. Well, I'll tell you what, right, Rangers... Uh, no, I think, I think Hearts should be getting at least one win against Rangers and one win against Celtic. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're playing them in the cup or whatever, you're getting an extra game. No, it should be, I don't but... think it's beyond the realm of possibility that Hearts should be the club that they are, getting a, a win against Rangers a season and a win against Celtic a season, but the fact that they beat 
Celtic in what, fucking well over 10 games. I mean, it's just a, it's a mess. I'm pretty, have they not beat Celtic since the opening game? And just first game? I'm thinking I was the last time. Huh? That's oh. fucking embarrassing, that is, man. Um, anyway, predictions. I'm going to go for 3-1 Rangers. I think Shankland will get a goal for Hearts. But I think Rangers will win. But let's not kid ourselves. I believe it was Big John Suter that got the winner that night. It was, it was fucking brilliant. Take me <laughs> fucking back. The banter years were in full effect over at fucking Celtic. Fucking banter year. Stevie Gerrard. Michael Beale was still there. I know. Michael Beale was still in charge. How does that make you feel? Impressed. Well, it doesn't take... exist though, so. Don't take you back then. Don't take me back. I'm going 3 0 Rangers. Fair enough. Will Naismith be sacked after this game? No, he'll fuck. He'll no be sacked. How long is he lasting? Come on! Well, I don't know. They got rid of Nielsen because they said, oh, we, we think we're, we're in danger not finishing top three. What do they think Stephen Naismith's in danger again? How can you get out of a guy, though, for in danger of not getting top three and then the guy that replaced him says the top three is not that important? What's he going to say? He's hardly going to come out and say third place is vital when he knows he can't get it. <laughs> when you think yeah, but it's just contradicting. No, I know. It makes no sense. I'm going for you now, Rangers. And you know what, right? It's like a good line of fixtures, but I just um, this weekend just feels a bit flat, doesn't it? Probably because the league's fucking over, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Celtic have won it, St. Johnson's going down. I mean, Rangers are going to get that second place by default. Then you've got a couple of teams battling for that second relegation spot, but nobody cares. And then, I mean, that's it. I think the most in- interesting thing this season is can St. Mirren hold on to third? That's probably the most interesting thing going on in the league. Is that it? Is that your whack? Well, that's us done with us, guys. We're back with the Refuse Show Sunday night. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, Hibs... When was the last time Hibs beat Celtic? I think that's... Oh, no, wait. Hibs beat Celtic not that long ago. Did they? Oh, no, wait. Maybe that was under Lennon. Not that long ago, but it was under Lennon. No, did Hibs not beat... For whatever club, it doesn't fuck out so ages ago. No, what was that game? Did Hibs not beat Celtic that game where they played Barkas and then, remember, they had to change the goalkeeper? Then Bain came on. Why, and they won, like, 4-1? Was like, 5-3 or something? No, they won, like, 4-1, did they not? No, I think it was 5-3 or 4-2. Celtic were winning. Was that the cup, or...? End of last season. Ah, so it was end of last season. Can we, can we, was, can we was, count that? Nah, I was I at the Hearts game and... Can we count that, though? I'm going to have to. Like. I don't know, but it was a fucking Celtic that already won the title. And then they, had to, they changed the goalkeeper, didn't they? They'd Bain in nets or something? Nah, I think so. Something pish like that. But anyway, right, come on, Celtic. Fucking drop some points. Make this inter... I mean, the only team that dropped points against a fucking St. Johnston. I know the shittest team in the league. Is that even possible? Shittest bastards in the league. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.